Hi everybody, this is uh, Vel. Um, I started uh, thinking that, you know, I like to play these free games that Xbox and um, sends out every month. Uh, you get two a month with a gold membership for on the Xbox One. I believe they have them for the 360 still too. Um, so I figured, hey, why not uh, play um, some of the free games that are coming out on the system um basically give you guys a little bit of a preview of what the game's looking like um and uh let you see what the free games look like let you decide if you wanted to play them for yourself see if they look cool uh, let's get into it uh the first half of this month which is march looks like it's a sherlock holmes game called crimes and punishment uh so let's see what this what goes on here Auto save feature, like most of the games have, um, not anything special. Dropped your book, dude. What? I'm guessing that's Watson. <laughs> yep, that's Watson. And Holmes is trying to basically. Sh Shoot something while blindfolded. All right, what we got here? Take cover at the sofa. Duck and cover. Roll. Holmes, will you stop that? Take cover by the table. Hey, look, it's a bearskin rogue. You are utterly mad. Yep, he's pretty psycho. Can we like choke him out or something here? No, nope, guess not. Well, that was kind of Stop easy, home. taking cover a couple of Is spots. Yes, of no, it's it the delivery you man. You almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. He was aiming for the vases. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Confident step. Clinking handcuffs. Policeman. Nine step avoided. Inspector Lestrade. Ah, Lestrade. What is it? Oh, that's time? pretty awesome. He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. Gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black, Black Peter, Peter has, has been murdered. murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? <laughs> it's the only exercise I've had all week. I feel bad for the housekeepers for Holmes when he all of his uh, shenanigans. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? <laughs> Am I the only sane one here? Probably. I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. Mm. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 hunter. with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Dun, 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 dun. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. So he has to join Give him. me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The merry men struck again. Robin Hoods. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. <laughs> I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Robin Hood struck again, apparently. I should help Mrs. Up. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone, then. He's going it alone. Press next to open the casebook and check your current progress investigation tasks. Evidence... Uh, investigate the murder per carry, inspect the crime scene at Woodman's Lee, select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe, and join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. Alright, cool. We got, uh, looks like Baker Street, Woodman's Lee, standard map. Evidence Peter Carey is known as Black Peter. Uh, in 1884, moving to Woodman's Lee. So. Basically, it looks like uh, what this is is kind of like a uh, murder investigation or an investigation 
I kind of figured it was going to be with uh, Sherlock Holmes. No documents, dialogues, souvenirs, echoes, character portraits. Alright, so I don't get any character portraits. Alright. Controls are a little wonky. Um, uh, I guess it's not too bad. Talk to oh, what a mess! What a <laughs> terrible mess! Poor lady. Clean up my stuff. <laughs> All right. Encyclopedia, newspapers. He's got a lot of news. He's like a hoarder. I think you got a. I think you have a problem. I think. I think we need to talk. Should should we have an intervention? Okay, you're right. Let's go solve this case, and then we'll have the intervention. All right, so we got to get some clothes. Tea sets. It's got a nice view. Nice carriage outside. Wardrobe. All right. There's a makeup table. Wow. All right. So we don't want the morning farmer outfit. Maybe a bandit. All right. I guess we'll have to survive with just no. Oh wait, there's letters. Let's hope the letters. This is where I keep my post. This is where I keep. Got my it. Post. That's where you keep your post. Wait, can I grab the hat? No. Ah, uh, let's go and watch this. What's in here? Alright, nothing in there. Never mind. Watson's room is boring. <clears throat> Let's go to Woodman's Lee. See where this uh, takes us. Do -do. Why do you want me to open a case book? I'm good. Don't need to open the case book. Don't have any evidence yet. We're gonna get you a killer. Killer. Hopefully. Um, hopefully, you're gonna catch a killer. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Hold your horses. I haven't even been able to move yet. What are you guys doing? Ah, for I guess I should go talk to you and get this out of the way before I can like start investigating. This is pretty cool so far. Graphics are pretty decent. Um, yeah, nothing too involved yet. She the witness. Where were you the night of January fifteenth? Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. As soon as I get a look at it. I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. She did it. <laughs> Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? Peace. At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. Hmm. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? I noticed the cabin door was open. But I That's a go lengthy into story. Cork, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared. <laughs> she didn't. He didn't like her looking at him. Apparently. Did he have visitors? Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Hmm. Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here after his retirement. He probably pissed some people off. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk. He died. Day. That's what he occurred. He was in such a terrible temper. Okay, so Even let's go. that happened, he'd stay all night <laughs> drinking in his cabin before passing out. 
Apparently, the case isn't solved. Ooh. Maybe I should have did this beforehand. Cameo. This is like the super spy vision. Birdhouse. There's a bird. The crested tit. Gardening gloves. Why do they always like make birds' names stuff that's funny and make like five year olds and us grown men that are like teenagers at heart giggle? I mean, Catholic Rosary. Ooh, I got a character portrait. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. She's a bird watcher. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. It sounds like was uh, Peter positive. was not and very fun to be around. Upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor, <coughs> and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Uneasy life due to her unhappy marriage of Peter. She's very religious. Pilgrimage when she was young. Alrighty. What do you got to offer here? Mr. Holmes? Just say my name. Say my name! Say my name! Alright, what we got here, boss? It seems that the garden was well maintained. Hmm. A well maintained garden, eh? Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch it. That's then. right. Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch that. That's my evidence. Land around stone pathway. It's like my... X-ray vision or something. All right, let's go see this guy. See what kind of shape he's in. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. And the body's going to be oh, gone. Good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? Hello, hello, hello. It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Did you do it? Trying to get the upper handle on old Sherlock Holmes, eh? These scratches are fresh. Ooh. Somebody's in trouble. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Yeah, they're fresh. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. You're a tool. Oh, did I say that out loud? Maybe he did and the body's gone. I would say not. The body's still there. I was wrong. A terrible way to die. He got impaled. All right, what we got? All right, 
let's turn off Spidey sense here. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Indeed, you got some flies around, you might want to clean that up. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Get something in your chest there, buddy. You want to pull that up. Fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Full of blood there. Everything. Wait. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. Somebody didn't like him wailing, apparently, I guess. Let's see. Let's, uh. Did I miss anything? Let's examine the pool of blood here. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Plain wooden handle, eh? Hey, eh? That could be what we need. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Hmm. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Too bad you don't have DNA. You could just take it off of that knife. What's in this notebook? Eh? J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, hmm. but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter. Kelly. My thoughts exactly. I'm gonna open it. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Initials? Perhaps. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Examine the table. It's a backy. The initials P C have been crudely politically done. correct. Oh, I mean Sales Peter Carey. Work. It's not politically correct, huh? Sure. Someone drank from this glass recently. Can't use Spidey sense, huh? Okay. Rum. A sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before <clears throat> he met his death. It's one of his sailing buddies. It's gotta be. Alright. I don't see anything else to check out there. Let's go check out the pool of blood again. I think. Oh, not the table. Come on, Sherlock, work with me here. Oh, let me look at You're killing me, kid. Is there more on the table? I guess there's more to the tobacco pouch. Initials. It's tobacco. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. Alrighty. Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very... There we go. Sailors. So it's like a 3D puzzle. So you have to rotate it a little bit. Gotcha. What does Y let me do? 
Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red color signifies unachievable something. I didn't get a chance to read it. from a combination of clues, track down the guilty. An ambush must be made tonight to see if the great man attack will be repeated. Ha. Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Who can organize an ambush? Something's missing from the shelf. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. Could it be the book? An object was taken from oh, here. that was a chest. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Hmm. Weird. The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Dundee Crocodile Dundee Hammerfest Hammerfest It's a whaling map Good deduction Ship's log the sea, the unicorn, sea unicorn. Years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Hmm. The murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. You think? Let's look at the chest contents. Peter Carey's boots. They look to be a size eight. Size eight boots. Navigation tools. Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Nothing at all. I got his boots, so I guess we can uh, put those to the prints. Sea unicorn. The sea unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Look at those pictures. No. Anything else on here? Yeah, you got that shelf. Not that. Can I talk to you about the footprints? These boots don't match the footprints. So they were the perpetrators. These footprints appear to be quite large. I completed the inspection. Apparently. That's what that thing said. Alright. <clears throat> Tasks. Organize an ambush, investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Alright, I guess it's time to do this ambush thing. Can I talk to homeboy here? Oh. Well, Mr. Holmes. Well, Mr. Holmes. What do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oh, he wants something. You lost me. I don't think he wants to hide the body. I think he wants that. that whoever came I want that ledger book. The door open. They tried to force it. He wants that ledger blade, back. But they failed. What will they do? Why return tonight when they will be better prepared? Aha! Uh -huh. So what do you propose? Really, dude? 
We shall remain on the outside. You couldn't figure that out yourself. Where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Dun, 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 dun. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. All right. So we need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin near the wall. Oh, now I gotta go find a place for a damn ambush. Can't you guys figure that out? This looks like a good place. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Sorry, clues can form an important deduction and improve your progress in the investigation. So that's what let me um, progress to the ambush was um, finding the guy that comes in. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And that led me to the ambush that the guy tried to enter and then the ledger book. I bet he wanted that ledger book and he dropped it. Let's see if he comes back. Sorry. Shh. Did you hear that? Yeah, somebody's trying to open the door. Ooh. You're the culprit. There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Way behind you. <coughs> You've been caught by the great Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes, come and see what we've caught. <sighs> All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing? Yeah, why are you coming back? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. Yeah. What? But you can't. I'm not. It's a terrible mistake. Enough. Tell it to the judge. You explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the Come with me to Scotland Yard. But in light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same. He's not the very guy. grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. He's not the guy. He came there for something else, but he's not the murderer. All right, let's see where we're, let's go to Scotland Yard and question this uh, this guy. See what we got in our knit, as they said. Examine belongings. Hey, can I have his belongings to look over there, buddy? Be a pal. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Yeah, Good you can morning, get off your ass and do your job. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. Belongings in the evidence room. It'd be helpful if you told me where the damn evidence room is. Staff room. Inspector Lestrade. Interrogation room. Where's that evidence room, you jackass? Oh, that's the morgue. We definitely don't want to go in there. There's the evidence room. We'll walk right past it. 
Alright, where's homeboy stuff? Let's take a gun and go on a rampage. What do you say? There we go. These are Peter's <coughs> belongings. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something. But what? Wonder if he's gonna spill that. It's a pocket knife. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.N. Same as the ledger book. And partner, 1883. To my friend, R. Dawson. R. Dawson. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Hmm. Dawson. Search archives. Where's my archives at? I guess, are they back in my house? I bet you it's uh, back in my house. Yes, I gotta go interrogate him now. He's in the interrogation room. Yep, there he is. It's pretty cool so far. Um, Does this notebook belong to you? Kind of race yes. of the L.A. Noir game well, a little bit. Where did you find it? Um, I did not know. Uh, I, I thought I lost it at the cool. hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. I always find out. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. I'm innocent. I swear is it. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Um, rings engraving. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Yeah. You liar. Don't lie to me. Chevy cap. Patch. Thin neck. Calluses. Elaborate buttons, scars, expensive fabric, Somewhere between the expensive fabric, elaborate buttons, miss something. Ooh, wait. Short sleeves. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> so, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? That's right. The ring is mine. Liar. Again. Oh, I didn't select the right answer. So, Mr. Nelligan. Who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Not the ring's engraving either? What the hell? So, Mr. Nelligan, who is yeah, the true owner of the ring? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Ring's yours and the you're ring lying. Is mine. I gotcha. Father's jacket. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? Because of the jacket. The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich He's man, not rich at all. Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. Or with your, your father's father. Gone, and taking or your with father's him the father's family's father. wealth, as a little boy, you had to find yourself a manual job. And it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. Because I am I'm brilliant. Speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. That's because I'm the man. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please let me... All right. So... Only two of these things are connected. The notebook. Peter Carey was armed with his knife, but did not have time to use it. The murderer acted quickly and instinctively. Breaking attempts. And the notebook. I have a feeling that was the two. The breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying on the pool of victims. What? I said that. I said that it was a notebook. I'm pretty damn smart. Not sure how I'm smart, but that's pretty good. This proves that the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Um, We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill the full... Yeah, that's true, because he was pierced through. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. His Watson? <laughs> Prepare for a harpoon throwing experiment. Oh, I have a feeling that Watson is not going to be happy to oblige. <laughs> Oh, I have a big feeling that this is going to be an issue for Watson. <laughs> Are you going to do it blindfolded again like you were shooting a gun? Alright, let's go back to Baker Street. <coughs> and we will go throw some harpoons at Watson. Open deduction. Those two don't go together, so. Yeah, Watson, 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 Watson. He always look. He already looks scared. Like I'm gonna hit him already with the harpoon. <laughs> wow, well, loading times in these games usually. It's the only thing. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. Beggars is online. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many dun, things. Dun, dun, dun. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend. What is the animal closest to man, morphologically, I mean? Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. 
on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Well, thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a heart. <laughs> Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Do I have to go back and just pick up a damn harpoon and do this shit? Or can I just, like, assume that I went and pick up the harpoon? Wait, um, he said something about the archives and, um, that name... Are my are my archives here? My analysis table. It is useful yeah, for my work. Yeah, I got that. Are the archives like here? Search. There we go. Search Dawson, 1883. Bankruptcy Act. There we go. Dawson Neeligan Investment Fund bankrupt. Neeligan missing. Dawson Neeligan Investment Fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was 23rd largest bank in Britain and its bankruptcy was second largest on record. Liquidation of the company a pure cat catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Neeligan one of the bankers has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure in Norway. Neeligan is wanted for both by the police and the creditors. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. Nice. All right. So I gotta go back and actually go back and get the fucking harpoon. Really? This is gonna suck. Go get the harpoon. Alright, come on, let's go. Is there. I wish there was a run button. Is his body still hanging in here? Oh, good, they took it out. That would have been kind of gruesome. That should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. Yay! Now we can go do the experiment. Alright. I mean, was there supposed to be something else I was looking at there? Was it sending me back there? Just be lucky it's not you there, Watson. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yes. <laughs> Means... Holmes, you should aim for the Watch out. In order to I'm about to test. miss this epically. The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce huh. it straight through. Weird. Holmes, you should try to aim huh. better and throw as hard as you can. Apparently, uh, I suck at this. Got it through. Now I just have to get it on the mark, I guess. There we go. 
This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength or training or diabolical luck. luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance of a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. Somebody that's a all whaler. Right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well. Pay the man. Of course. All right. I guess we don't have to investigate anything here. We'll go back to Scotland Yard and talk to your homeboy again, since we found um, something there. Either strength requires much greater strength to be able to pierce a man's chest a hard point all the way through the wall degree skill would most likely be necessary. Two men in cooperation might achieve the same result. There is a remote possibility that an unskilled, untrained man could manage to pin Peter and wall a hard point. Okay. I got it. So we're at Scotland. Go talk to this guy real quick. See what he's got to say. Now. This is pretty cool. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. <coughs> yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan... He's in hiding. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. He was ashamed. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on everything. board. Everything. No Thank survivors. you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. His father's actually alive. He killed him. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Examine the ship's logs. Where do I? Oh, the ship logs back at the cabin. Oh, okay. All right. Let's look at the ship logs then. Back at the cabin. All right, let's go check these ship logs out. I really wish there was like a run button. Oh, there is a run button. Oh, cool. Wish it would have told me that. All right, where's all the, there's the ship logs. 1883, that's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Peter Carey. Cook. Shepherd. Log notes for June. No this is the crew list. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Log notes for July. No log. Log notes for July. Nothing. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Mm. Log notes for August. These page. Canadian Pacific Railway. CPR, a torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very it's recently. It's in the ledger. Three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 
aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale huh. hunt campaign. Well, I can't speak with the dead man, so... Find the crew of the Sea Unicorn. Wiggins might help to find the crew of the Sea Unicorn. We should be somewhere at Baker Street. Alright. Those bond certificates are... Um... Those look like... What's in the log, that log book that he has. So let's go back. Let's look at, I guess, Baker Shriek. This. I bet you. CPR. CPR, right there. Yeah, I mean, I can make that connection myself. Well, I guess we gotta go back to Baker Street, though, because that's what the game tells you to do. And we should listen to the game. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet. I'll call in the specialists. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialists. The Americans? And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these <coughs> urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Ah, we're going to use the urchins. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything. And they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. He's going to summon How do them. Do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Hey, little kid, get up here. Oh my god. What happened? Shouldn't be spying in people's windows. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy! Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. <laughs> red light district. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh-oh. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Something happened. Back to Scotland Yard. This is coming along rather nicely. Let's see, do you have any new deductions? Nope. I wonder if you put different deductions together, if he comes up with different stuff. Or if you miss something, or something like that. That would be pretty cool to figure out. So when you guys play it, definitely check that out. Right into a cutscene. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. Are you now? As always. What happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly. What happened? Now. Interesting. Great tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a hmm. suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him. We'll talk. make him talk. 
Let us hope so. We'll beat him to death. Ah, yes, and one more thing. <laughs> the constable told me <coughs> at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Do you have it? Of course. It's in of the course evidence. it's in the evidence room. Why can't you have it on you? For once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, okay? Mm, breathtaking. <laughs> I think they should have had like Benedict Cumberbatch do the voice. That would have been good. All right, let's go see what this letter is. All right, let's see. Nelligan's Hurtley's belongings. These are the suspect's belongings. Take the boots. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They are a size nine and a half. What's the letter say? The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Back at my shop. And I got completed on that, so I'm guessing... Wait, let's look at that logbook and see if that if he makes the these connection the to the CBR experiment. or whatever. I wonder if these are connected. I bet you they are. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Huh. No, I don't... These are the... No, good. But this was white now. These are the suspect's belongings. Nothing unusual about it. Hmm. Feeling that pen's gonna come back into play somehow. What? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. That's right. Get him in there. I want to talk to his ass. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. I'm and better than the police, your situation, bitch. It might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. Dun, 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 dun. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are? And exactly what happened that you should be brought here? No. My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Really? Well, we shall, we shall see. see. Now I'm going to look over you. I'm going to figure it out. Figure you out, Liam Hurtley. I'm going to wave this little circle around you. Until it lights up and tells me that I found something. Fear the circle. Oop, got something. Hey, you lit up for a second. There we go. Old scar. He was a whaler. I bet. Ooh, handkerchief with the crested tit on it. I bet you he's Nell. I bet you he's homeboy's father. Plant remains. That's from uh, the garden. Gardener's hands. He's the gardener. That's all for now. He's their gardener.
Looted by the neck by Shadow, and there's a quiet life working as a gardener. Where's Lestrade at? Oh, he's probably in his office. Staff room. Yeah, let's go talk to Lestrade. How is the investigation going, Mr. Rose? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? No. Let's take his boots back to the garden? And compare them to the footprints? Do we have any... Ooh. Now you can look at his father's well, paper and uh, explain his presence to the scene of the murder. Still nothing really. Use homeboy's boots in the footprints. And then use my alchemy, or not alchemy, my uh, science table. Match. These boots match the footprints exactly. So Hurley was here. He's a gardener, so won't his prints be there anyway? Let's go back and take a look at the letter. Um, I bet you I can use that one table that's in his room to remove it and make it so it's legible. I don't know why, I just went like that with my right hand and left hand. Hopefully I can get through maybe this first case, I'm not sure, um, before I have to cut this video off for you guys. If not, um, I can cut it off and we'll, I'll finish at least the first case before I stop the series here. There we go. Cover the letter. I need to prepare a chemical agent oh that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be okay. used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, so it gives you the option. If you can't figure out how to skip it, I just did it because of time. I would have figured it out eventually. So, let's see what this letter says. I did as you asked and hid them well, but I beg you to reconsider. I on S I S W and remember our vows. I have done nothing dishonorable for which. Black, black, and black, me. Huh. So what am I supposed to do now? I guess I'm talking. Please escort this son. Go talk to the little kid again. Tell him we found stuff. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I. I was trying to find some information about my father. Liar. I assume you had another purpose. To retrieve the bond certificates, am I correct? Damn right you are. Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, 
They belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Liar. Found your boots. Oh, shit, wrong one. <clears throat> Tell me, Mr. Hurt. Woodman's Lee? I've never been You're there. You're lying. All right, well kept garden, tobacco pouch, or at least boots match. There we go. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. So you're lying. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. I think it does. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? <coughs> you're lying again. His letter. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. <laughs> well, you're Sherlock a smart Holmes one, always comes out the but smug. It's nothing. If you want to know, I was asshole sometimes. to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? Mm -hmm. I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Gardening? Because you're a gardener? Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... <laughs> I observed your hands. They told oh, me that oh. you work with the earth. They're so Small shocked by the truth. Plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. <laughs> I have to chuckle every yes, time he says crested tit. I am a gardener, it's kind of funny. And I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept mm -hmm. at Woodman's Lee. All right, so let's go to Woodman's Lee and examine those tools. Clues, any more deductions? Not really. <clears throat> Alright, Wooden, where's the gardener's tools at? Guessing they would be in the shed. Locked. Um, can you let me in, chick? Mrs. Carey, could I please? It's like a vampire. I have to ask for entrance. Ooh. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be that he hadn't smoked in a very Here. long time. The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? You should I talk to her. It is true. Oh, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of you it. You liar. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Nope, it's not. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. You are such a liar. She's so lying. She's looking away and Madam, stuff. 
We have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open. Thank you. Thank you, About madam. time you actually are uh, truthful on something. So she's lying. Denies that there was a gardener. So let's try. Alright, so we'll we'll go see about these what's in here first, I guess. <coughs> let's see what could be hidden here. clicked in there. Hey look, there's the box. Hmm, wonder what's in it. Probably something good. Let us see what is in this box. Oh god, that's another puzzle. It's a puzzle box. Alright. Those fit. There we go. Ooh, bunch of letters. Letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hmm. Hertley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. Uh -ha -ha. That is interesting. Uh oh. You've been so good to me all the time. I you cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose they're simple. God, I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. He is divine. His divine will, and thus my husband of Carlson must bear. He makes fun. Life of living hell, but Bruce is fair, and he must not worry. So he's beating her, and Hurtley was sleeping with her, and I bet homeboy went, and yeah. Thank you. We should go talk to her again. Mr. Holmes, what do you think? I think she saw more than what she's uh, fessing up to here. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? The letters. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the because garden? Because he killed them, son of a I, bitch. I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after <coughs> what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... After what he has done. He killed you him. believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors.
Oh, this is cool. So it like makes a chain. There's motive now. So he has motive. I still think he might be uh, homeboy's dad. Let's go see if we get him back at uh, Baker Street. It's a pretty cool game. Mr. Wow. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you of gave. Of course you did, my well boy. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Hugh Pattons, James Lancaster, Patrick Cairns, John Arnold. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. This is interesting. This man is a harpooner, and his initials are PC. The same initials Ooh, that were found on the tobacco, tobacco pouch. pouch. Mm. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Nothing like an orf, uh, urchin forced to do your dirty work for you. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. I guess I better go put sailor clothes on. All right, unfortunately, that's all the time I have. Um, I'm going to leave this here for now, um, and then I'm going to come back, and hopefully we will go catch Patrick Cairns. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you guys check out some other videos on the channel um, with uh, Bonri uh, Crimson and the other uh, women and men of Real Women of Gaming. Um and I will be back with the second part of this. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to record that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to do this every month um, and do, you know, of course, at least two a month show showcasing the free game of the month. This one's really cool. I want to finish at least this first case with you guys so you guys can check it out um, and see what it is and you can play it for yourself. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.